In this video, we are in North Georgia in Southern Tennessee to do the Big Frog Loop. So join us, enjoy, and check it out. Hey everybody, welcome to this video. We are in North Georgia, we're in the Cahutta Wilderness, and we are starting the Big Frog Loop. So we've seen some videos from other creators. Uh, we wanted to get away for a couple of days, enjoy some time camping and being out on the trail. So we figured we'd head up to Georgia, check out the Big Frog Loop, find some cool places, find some great campsites, and, uh, and really discover somewhere we haven't been before. So we got the Bronco in the background. Um, it, we aired down just for comfort. We don't expect that there's any good, gonna be anything crazy on this trail. It's just gravel roads and whatnot. But we aired down for comfort and we'll see how it goes. I think we're gonna just, while we're up here, we'll just do some exploring. Here's a sign for Hickey's Gap. It's a little road that goes down this way. Um, it's not marked or blocked. So let's check out Hickey's Gap. So that's pretty cool. This Hickey's Gap is really, it's a campground. So it's a campground right on the creek. Um, if you look, there's like a pit toilet, but there's like five sites or so all along the creek here. And uh, it's well-maintained gravel campsites. Um, it's camping only. And it looks to be just like a cool little free campground. So, awesome. Have our first of many water crossings. So, this stream probably has more water than it typically would. It's a nice little stream. Looking good. Easy climb out. Awesome. Fun little water crossing. Well, this is sort of a bummer. We decided just to take a, just a, a little sidetrack. I mean, we're not in a rush. We we're gonna explore. Um, so this is like Mill Creek A or 630-A, but after that water crossing, we've come to a down tree. It's a pretty big one. Um, I brought the chainsaw, but uh, you know, I mean, really, since this is a down and back, and I think there's, I think I see on the uh, Overland Bound app, there's camping at the end, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not ready to camp, and I mean, there's no need really to clear this tree at the moment, but. So we're sort of stuck. Um, we'll back up a little bit. There's a spot to turn around over here. And uh, so that's what we'll do. So it's what you get for uh, exploring, but the, I mean, the Raptor's not having any issues. But, uh, but yeah, we'll back up a little bit down here and then we will uh, head back out. Here's another little gem, um, if it wasn't um, a little wet, but uh, we're not ready for a campsite, but we really, we just turned off a little trail and uh, you know, and then boom, you got you know, a campsite. Here's where someone had a fire. You can see the road down there. That's where we drove by and we just did a little hill bump and uh, but we're looking good. It's a great view. It seems to be well used. It's relatively level. It's just a matter of 
we're not ready to set up camp, so we're going to move on. All right, looks like <laughs> we're gonna have a tight squeeze. I can see that some cars have come through here. Obviously, they've hugged this corner pretty far. Um, yeah, we'll have to check this closely. This is a big tree. So even though I have a chainsaw, once again, um, I just, I don't think I'd have an option of, of really moving this safely alone. So what I am going to do is I am gonna trim this little branch back if I can, because I don't want that scraping against the truck. And then I'll edge it here and see, see if we can make it under. If we can't make it under, then I guess I'll have to turn around and go a different road. Well, everybody, I think I've done my good deed for the day. So uh, after that walk, after that down tree came through and come around a corner and there was literally um, a pickup truck that had gone off the road. Um, so it was easy to help them, uh, Ben, Andrew, and um, David. So got them unstuck. Basically it was super easy. They just needed a pull. So I hooked up a tow strap to the back of the truck and then just really just a nice steady pull. They were out really easy. But, uh, but yeah, they had come around this corner here and uh, took it a little too hard, a little too playful, uh, suffered a little bit of oversteer. And then they came through here and slid off this bank right here. So you can see his tire, where his rear tire was um, that dug out. So he was, he was in a pretty precarious situation. So we got him out. It's nice meeting you guys if you watch this video, but uh, yes, good deed for the day done. We'll see ya. Man, I wish there was a campsite close to here. Check out this waterfall. I mean, we're parked right here on the side of the trail, and this is a cool waterfall. This, it is really flowing from the rain, I guess, we've had the other day, couple days, but man, so cool. Just something along the trail. through an area that they've done a prescribed burn in recently. So controlling the underbrush, doing what they need to get rid of that fuel in the forest. But, uh, but yeah, definitely a very large prescribed burn. It's been like this for a while. All right, we made it to camp before dark. It's close, but we made it before. I almost thought we were gonna have to pull a Ronnie doll. Not a lot of spots in the stretches. We did see a couple, but we passed those up because uh, I saw a place uh, marked near a creek. So we're at that campsite. What we'll do is I'll take you a walk around through it tomorrow morning um, once we're up in a mall. But we did make it to camp. It is not fully dark. So we're gonna get set up and then get a fire started. It's starting to get a little chilly and then we'll go from there. But uh, we'll uh, walk you around in the morning. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. It is day two in the Cahutta Wilderness and uh, we had a nice brisk morning here. We've had breakfast, made our coffee, it's about in the 40s a um, little bit of rain came through last night but it is a clear blue sky the sun's getting ready to come over the ridge or is starting to come over the ridge so it should hit the campsite soon we're gonna work on getting cleaned up but uh, yeah it was a great day yesterday um, afternoon 
got through bunny trails, gravel roads, but uh, the Cahuta Wilderness, definitely not disappointing. Um, we had a great campsite here um, by the creek. Um, I think it's like Sneed, Sneed Creek Camp or something like that. It had a label on it. It was marked um, on, uh, on our map, so both in the Overland Bound app and I think it may have been marked on Gaia, but definitely in the Overland Bound app. But uh, let's take you, show you the site, and uh, definitely I'll pin it, um, you know, for future reference. But it was a great site that it can accommodate many uh, different rigs. Yep, this is a nice, peaceful stream here at camp. We got some great water sounds it was awesome sleeping and uh this little creek runs and winds through down the hill from over that direction but this is a pretty wide open campsite so definitely could accommodate many many rigs we're up here uh this spot no leveling blocks and it's a perfectly level zero zero spot so uh, I don't think we could have aligned it any better. So that was awesome. Now we did not use this fire ring. Um, I just uh, had the fire up in my pop-up pit over there near the rig just to hold in tight. But, uh, but yeah, so super cool site. Um, room for tents, ground tents. Um, and yeah, anybody that wanted to be adventurous, they could actually probably set up a ground tent across the creek. But this is uh, pretty cool. We actually um, shared the site with a couple bike packers. So a couple bike packers rolled in right after we had gotten here and started setting up. I had passed them on the trail, so that was pretty cool. And then um, really once it was dark and once we were chilling and hanging out, um, a couple more rigs came by and they were eyeballing a site. So it must be a pretty popular place for people to camp. But uh, yeah, you could accommodate plenty here, um, but we're gonna get packed up, clean up, and we're gonna head up on, out on the trail and uh, see what the rest of the area holds for us. So keep an eye out and thanks for watching. Alrighty, we are on the trail. We're all packed up. It's a beautiful day out. Um, I have to correct myself, it's 37 degrees. So it wasn't in the 40s, it was in the 30s this morning. Um, I was toasty in the tent, um, didn't run the heater, just, you know, layered up and I was feeling toasty, but it is definitely chilly this morning, but a beautiful day. So we are going to continue on the trail and we'll see what we have. Enjoy. So here we have this creeks coming through, but there's a, all kinds of campsites, but they're all walk-in campsites along the creek here. So you'd have to park your rig um, along the trail and then walk down with your tent. But there's all kinds of people down there. Um, but you can see, even from up here, you can see a bunch of fire rings. Here's a guy in some waders, so he's probably fishing. He's got his dog out there. But uh, really cool here along this stretch of trail. The river opens up nicely.
right, so it is the end of day two. Um, we did about five hours, four and a half hours out on the trail. So we decided to stop um, at what's called the Big Creek Primitive Campground. It's right on the Forest Service Road. Uh, it's actually marked on both the Transamerica Trail and the Georgia Traverse along the Big Frog Loop. So we're, I think, still in Tennessee. That loop goes up from Georgia into Tennessee and back down. So I think we're technically still in Tennessee at this Big Creek Campground. Um, but right now, I mean, it's a Sunday night. We're the only ones here. It's set up pretty well. I'm gonna walk around. I'll show you a little bit of, um, of what it's got to offer, but a bunch of sites right on the Big Creek, right on the river. We, uh, we think we got a great spot to sleep tonight. So we'll see what it looks like. Let me show you around. At this Big Creek campground, there is a trail. So you have, a, you have the trailhead here with a parking area, but no horses and no mountain bikes. This is a pure hiking trail. And uh, yeah, there's the good old placard right here. So you can see where we're at. You are here but uh, plenty of trails in this area, in the Big Frog Wilderness, and uh, it's pretty cool. But if you're a hiker, pretty scenic. Trailhead starts right off at the creek. Side of the bridge that we're on, this is a pretty large campsite here. Looks like you can fit a whole big group of rigs if you wanted, and then over to the here, We'll look over to the bridge, and on your left was the trailhead, and then straight and continuing on are the different campsites. Right directly across the bridge here, and then we continue to walk, and here's another massive campsite over here. It's like someone's been busy chopping wood. There is wood for the ready. And then over here to the right over here is where our campsite is. So we'll take you around that later. But let's continue down this road, across another bridge. Okay, so we're down by the river, or down by the creek, right here by our campsite. You can see over to the left behind that glare where the other little stream is meeting this one. A little bit of a log jam down there, but plenty of stones, plenty of rock. And if we precariously walk out here on these rocks, I mean, you can see there's quite a little rapid area. I mean, this looks like it would be a really fun place to hang out in the summer. I could imagine just chilling here in the river, but this is this is a great spot. It's got to be super packed during the summertime, I would think, but uh, pretty cool. And then really we just walk right up here and yeah, right up the bank. And then here is our campsite. So there is a pretty large fire ring. We decided not to use it just because I want to set up my Brio to cook and a lot of stones and stuff like that. So we got the rig set up. I'm drying out the awning and the tent from last night's rain. We got the fire started, so we'll get that going. But yeah, I mean, this is a cool campsite. And even if you walk past our rig, I mean, you'd have, an, you'd have room here. You'd have room back here. You know, I mean, this is, this is a good site. And if you were ground tent camping, You'd have tons of options. Great campsite. We'll check in later. Planning on coming back again here to show you a campsite, but this one's across the way. You can see where we're at, but uh, this opens up and you have a little path in here and then taking it around, grassy area, 
clear, flat area, more grassy area. Someone chopping down trees like they're going out of style, but I mean, really, you look at this. You could probably fit 10 rigs back here. Easy, plus ground tents. I mean, man, this would be the site right here if you planned on doing a group ride. Good morning, everyone. It is Mark, and uh, this is the morning of day three. So this is going to be our final trail day. So um, we'll spend the day all throughout the trails today, camp tonight, and then we'll head back to Florida tomorrow. But basically what we're going to do today, we're gonna finish off the Big Frog Loop, and then we will probably, based on how we've plotted out, we may head um, into the Blue Ridge area or whatnot, but we'll play it by ear, same as we did yesterday. Uh, we, I hope we get an amazing campsite uh, like this one, but uh, we've, We've had a great time so far. Um, less rigs, like less vehicles than I thought, but really over the last couple of days, horseback riders, mountain bike riders, bike packers, it really has been pretty cool. So, uh, so we'll see what the rest of this Big Frog Loop has in store for us. We had a great night last night. Um, we were prepared for the temperature, so it got down to about 30 degrees, but we ran the diesel heater, so we were plenty toasty warm uh, in the rig. And uh, it's probably gonna be the same tonight, so we'll see how that goes, but uh, let's see what's out on the rest of this trail. Let's have a great time today. Thanks for watching. scenery continues to change here and there. You know, you can tell where some logging's been done, where it's newer forest versus old pine versus oaks and stuff and other hardwoods. But I'll tell you one thing, there are a lot of downed trees and a lot of just deadwood. So you come up this area, you will not be hurting for firewood at all. This is a nice little rocky section.
All right, we've taken a little side trail here. It's tight. It didn't have a gate, so that's good. Most of the side trails and offshoots have sort of had gates, so it should be a down and back. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what we got here. Could be interesting. Here's a little turnaround spot if needed. Ooh, actually, someone's campsite. That's weird. I have to. That's not good. Now. Got the creek running right here. Cool water. As long as there's somewhere at the end to turn around, but this is a really cool spot. We're down in the bottom of a valley. Just a little offshoot trail off the main trail. Sweet, sweet river side views, but it's a little tight. Like I said, hopefully there's a spot at the end to turn around because we sure can't pull this in reverse. I see a campfire down here. So it looks like somebody might be camping. We'll see who's down here. And we actually have a water crossing. Look at that. It's obviously a little concrete bridge but it's still pretty cool. So you got a, the cool river here, and then the camping spots there on the left. And then it looks like there's another camping spot here. I guess it looks like some people, you can drive into this one. So this one's Creekside, it's a little wet on the entrance, but it's flat back there in the back over here. So you could probably fit a couple rigs in there. Cool stuff. All right, we're stopping for a bit. What we did is um, there's a turnoff um, off the main trail and uh, it's for, and there's a campground there, a dispersed or a, you know, a primitive campground, Tumbling Creek campground. Um, but we noticed that um, if you continue past that campground along the same road, um, it opens up into the, into the reservoir. There's a, an inlet here, so you can see Basically, um, you have access, full access out into the reservoir there. So the water's calm, it's super clear, and uh, it's, it, you know, it's flowing pretty well down that stream. So we came to the end. Um, you can turn around here. It looks like there's a couple other vehicles up here that have you know, launched their boats or whatever. Um, which is cool because they're probably out on the water fishing or something like that. But this is a, a neat little spot to boat launch. But look at this, look at this water. I mean, it is crystal clear. Um, just a cool little place that the, the campground itself, the dispersed campground is, I mean, there's spots along. Um, 
you know, there's, it's nothing to write home about, nothing special in regards to that. Um, but, uh, but no, this is a, a neat little area here at the end though, uh, as we look to, uh, you know, get out on the water if, if that's what you wanna do, if you have a little boat or something like that, or you're bringing a kayak with you, who knows. But, uh, but yeah, you can pop out here on this trail and, and hit the lake. We've re-entered Georgia. So we, were, we are back in the Cohutta wilderness. Obviously the big frog loop takes you up into Tennessee and Cherokee National Forest. But uh, we are back in Georgia and we're taking a little side trail off the main gig. It's a down and back. So just curious to see what's at the end. Maybe we'll be up here at a mountaintop or something like that. Maybe there's a campsite at the end. Uh, you never know. So let's check it out, see where we end up. Well, this is not something that you would like to see on the trail. Looks like they're doing some work to repair. I guess some people have come through. And yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of hugging these piles, but it looks like there, there's a pile on up there that's sort of marked. Um, it's been moved probably by the people that came through here. Um, but there must have been a little area here. So it's just this spot. So it's really just a pair, a little bit of sand, a little bit of gravel, but they definitely wanted to repair it, but it looks like plenty of people have come through here. I guess it's time for us to do the same because uh, looking back at our route, um, not being able to go through here would be uh, quite, quite a trip around um, because there really wasn't any side roads to leave. So that would put us hours back. So I think we're gonna go rogue here. Looks like we have a campground here, Jack's River Fields Campground. Nice little area. Fee. So if you're gonna stay in this campground, it's five dollars a night. And there it looks to be there's some pit toilets and just some uh, campsites. There is a horse trailer parking and hitching rails over here. But it looks to be a pretty nice and well-maintained campground. I mean, super, super pleasant looking. Really, pretty cool. Jack's River Campground. Right. Here we are, scenic overlook. Haven't seen many of these where they actually had them cleared out. We've seen a lot of scenic overlooking, but this is a designated one. This is near the Lake Conasaga Campground, which is a reserve only site. But this is the Mountain Overlook. It is officially labeled the Mountain Overlook. So, pretty cool. Very nice. And we got the rig. It's all dirty for sure. Look at that. We, have, uh, we hit a little offshoot trail here at the end. Um, this is Bear Creek Campground. So um, same deal, pit toilets. Um, but what this looks like to be is a fully pack in, pack out campground. So it's pretty, pretty cool looking deal. So, so basically you just 
hike across this bridge with your tent, your supplies and whatnot, and then you can camp all up in the trees. The, the only um, caveat here is it says that there's no camping within 100 feet of the stream. Um, so that's a little interesting. But yeah, it's a full pack in, pack out. So if you're set up for that, it's your type of deal. But otherwise, you have a parking lot area here. Hey, Rig. And then you have the pit toilets up there. So Bear Creek Campground. Alrighty, everybody. There we have it. The Big Frog Loop. I like, almost like to think it, it's the bigger frog loop because I did add some extra trail to it and I did um, do some side tracks. So I'll call it the bigger frog loop. Uh, it was an awesome time. Um, you figure for my drive time, got it done in a couple of days. Um, that's with doing some extra stuff. Um, it was a mix. I mean, obviously there's a lot of gravel road but there's some fun stuff too once you get into Tennessee area. Plenty of camping, but then you can have streaks where there's not a lot of camping. So you really have to plan and sort of uh, think of how much distance that you wanna do each day just to make sure uh, that you time it right and don't get to camp when it's too late or too dark or anything like that. So um, overall, I loved it, had a great time. And uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching it. Um, don't forget, throw down some comments if you have any questions. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Would love it if you sub subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. But we really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next trip. See ya.